All right, so you're at your first job. Maybe this is your second job. The performance review season is, is up. You know you're gonna crush it. You've worked so hard over the last like six months or so. You pulled all these extra hours, you've worked late to hit deadlines, you've spent weekends learning cool new technologies. Like you feel like you're the most dedicated person on the entire team. And then your manager drops this bomb. A two out of five score on your OKR because you need to work on time management. Obviously you're gonna go on the defensive. What are you talking about? What about all those extra hours I put into this project? What about all those times I worked late on project B while so-and-so was leaving early? Your boss points out that you said it would have taken a week to do project A, but it took you three weeks. And that it doesn't really matter about those extra hour works. It's more about getting the job done. So you're frustrated. Your manager's frustrated. Uh, they give you no actionable feedback. And six months later, you either quit or you get fired. And the cycle repeats again with the next person. How do I know this? Because this happened to me. So gather around, take a listen while your Uncle James over here gives you the number one career tip for any career. Time management. Whether you're an engineer, a product manager, a project manager, or a graphic designer, or whatever, setting realistic expectations around time is pretty much the only thing that matters in the corporate world. Uh, I remember getting this feedback on my first internship from my first software engineering boss. And I'll be honest, I was pretty crushed because I really did care about my job and I thought I was doing great. Up until a few years ago, I got this feedback almost at random. Some managers thought I was 110% perfect and others brought up this feedback, but with no concrete actions. They didn't actually tell me how to manage my time better. They just said, you have to manage your time better. Over the past few years though, I have cracked this code and honestly, it really isn't that hard. Uh, I really wish I would have known this years ago. I promise if you do this within the next six months, you will be one of the best people on your entire team. First thing to remember, managers are people too. <laughs> They're making it up as they go along too. And so feel some sympathy for them. Also remember, especially in engineering, most managers don't actually want to be managers. <laughs> More often than not, they took the title and responsibility because it was the only way they could see to increase their status in the organization and to increase their income, which honestly is completely okay because in most organizations, that is often the only way, only thing you can do to increase your income. So when a manager gives you unactionable feedback like this, don't get mad. They're genuinely trying their best and they just don't know a better way to talk to you about it. What this boils down to is you're not meeting your manager's or other team members' expectations of completing tasks on a certain timeline. Engineers think this means they need to get better at coding, and that's what I thought. But I've real I disagree. I've realized in most cases, this can be fixed by getting better at delivering bad news sooner, not necessarily getting better at coding. This is usually caused by not realizing bad news is coming yourself. How do you begin to realize when bad news is coming? Write down everything. It's that simple. For some reason, people are terrified of writing things down before they start doing something. Oftentimes I'll hear the excuse, oh man, why would I spend all this time writing something down? It's only gonna take me two minutes to code. Dude, it never takes you two minutes to code anything. Think, like, just take a think, <laughs> look back at the last four tasks you've done. One was the last one that's taken 10 minutes to do. Like the PR test job takes five minutes. There's no way <laughs> it's gonna take you two minutes to finish anything. Before you, I start on any task, I take a little bit of time to just open up a Google Doc and just write down every step I think I'll need to do. Like I recommend you do the same, just write. Don't worry about putting anything in order or the priority, just write. Once you've brain vomited each step, then start organizing them. Then get some coworkers and maybe your manager to take a look at the doc and give feedback on the steps. 
oftentimes there are entire steps you can completely remove. And this can remove days off a task easily, if not weeks. If you have a ticket system at work, like something like Jira, next start converting these tasks into small tickets yourself. Now remember, they're just for you, so you can just make them one sentence. That's what I do all the time. Many engineers feel like it's like the product manager's job or the project manager's job to do this. And you know what? Technically, uh, it might be. But instead of spending 30 minutes to 60 minutes complaining about whether or not a product manager is doing their job or not, honestly, just do it. It's not a big deal. And trust me, it's really worth it. Because now not only do you have a paper trail, but the product manager will appreciate you and you'll get some emotional capital and political capital from that super easily. This is a dirt simple way to buy trust from the rest of not only your team, but other teams like the product team, uh, designers, whoever, which you then can convert later when the project is running late. This makes it very easy to go up to your manager, point out a list of tickets and say, you know what, I thought this would be done in a month, but ticket A and ticket C are taking longer than I thought. Is there anyone free who can take on those two tickets while I work out ticket B and D? They're pretty simple. Uh, I'm pretty sure like one of the junior people can help me out on this. I did this on a recent Android project at my job. I hadn't touched Android in years, so my estimates were a bit off. But by writing everything down and planning out tasks a week at a time, I could go to my manager and product manager show them the risks and negotiate to get help from other teams. And since this was, this was a high priority project, I was able to get help. This also means instead of projects running like a month late or six weeks late, your worst case scenario is you'll only ever have individual tasks maybe running a few days late, which is way, way less worrying to a business than a whole project being like a month or two late. Oftentimes, people are more than happy to cut features to hit a deadline. And come performance review time, they completely forget about the features that were cut. They just remember that the project shipped. So I've done this for about two years at my current company and have built up a huge amount of trust between teams. Because people hate writing things down. <laughs> They actually appreciate me writing things down for them. It's never a, like, do this work because I wrote it down and I said so. It's like not a power play at all. I'm really coming at it with a, hey, remember that conversation we had half an hour ago? I wrote down all our ideas here. Can you make sure I got them all right? OK, cool. What should we start working on first? People love working with reasonable, collaborative, and most importantly, non-stressed out people. I implemented this and I went like a complete 180 in my performance review the next half of the year. I figured this out from reading the book, The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People, uh, actually at a book club at work, and from paying attention to one of my coworkers who was legitimately the most organized person I've ever met. Thanks, Jenny. Uh, I definitely learned a lot just by sitting in the same room as you. So if you're facing a similar challenge at work, give this a try. I promise you will be surprised by these results. Again, thanks again for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you subscribe, and you gotta make sure you ring that notification bell so you can be part of the notification squad, the coolest squad on YouTube. <laughs> Let me know what your experiences have been in the comments below. Have you tried this before? Has this worked for you? Am I just full of crap? let me know. Thanks again, and I will catch you in the next video.